Hello everybody, welcome to the replay of Era BB week 7 between Tapioca King and his Orcs and Sick as Eggs and his Orcs. This looks like it is Tapioca King Stadium, which is why he has got the Nuffles Altar and he knew he had the Nuffles Altar, so he got Bomber Dribble Snot. And maybe Sick didn't know about the Nuffles Altar, so didn't get Bomber Dribble Snot, because I, I feel like you should have got Bomber Dribble Snot <laughs> in this matchup. But... Um, instead, Sick has Ugroff, who is an orc with a chainsaw, even though it looks like a goblin with a chainsaw, because Blood Bowl 2 are lazy and incompetent. So there you go. <laughs> so yeah, there's a little bit careless from Sick, and you know, even 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 like you know, even though obviously Bomber isn't a terror in Blood Bowl 2 that he is in Blood Bowl 3. Uh, well, not that Blood Bowl 3 has him, of course, because Cyanide are terrible and incompetent. But in Blood Bowl 2020, Bomber is a lot better. But for 10k, um, you know, Bomber's great for 10k, isn't he? And both really good teams, actually. Uh, at the start of the season, I felt like Six was quite a bit better than Tapioca's, but I guess as as it's gone on. Um, Six had some players, like lost some players, and Tapioca. While it's kind of low TV, it's you know it's all it's all good, isn't it? You know he's he's got loads of normals, lots of good value there, loads of block guard, mighty blow. Oh, Grollup's gone. Uh, while Six has got like you know the star player here, strength four, blodge, blodge there, block trolls. So he's still got like the he's got like the taller team, hasn't he? Whereas Tapioca's got the wider team. Uh, Sick also has a tackle pommer, but he is missed next game from this. And he just had a Black Hawk die as well, so he's got two rookie Black Hawks. That was certainly a good power, wasn't it? Yeah, certainly a very good power. I've already played Tapioca King this season, so don't care what the injury was. <laughs> And this is not live, no. I'm just just replays Hancock. There, there was a live one on right now, but after after doing <laughs> after doing a uh, after doing a Danton game, I don't want to do any other live games. <laughs> I'm sure he won't take offence. Um, you know, he knows he knows how long he takes, doesn't he? And he's totally within his rights to take that long. It wasn't a problem when I was playing against him, but the problem is when like when you're casting them, it just gets you down a bit. You know what I mean? Like it just. At least if you're one of the people thinking about the game, it's not so bad, right? But when you're just watching them both think, uh, spectating really does tend to drag it if you've got slow players. Um, but again, you know, not, there's no problem with them whatsoever. But yeah, as you say, thank God. Like, yeah, yeah, live games that take a long time are uh, can be a bit of a thing. Way well done, El. Goes for the foul there, trying to push his luck a little bit. Didn't get anything. Um, Tapioca's not playing bomber on defense. That's interesting, isn't it? Not going for the uh, lucky, lucky cage break. The problem is, like the bomber is, the, you know, ten k is really good value, but he is a bit of a. He is a bit of a uh, liability, isn't he? So it's not great to have him, uh, you know, replacing him all. Sometimes. It depends. Dirty player foul. Nothing. Well, not nothing. Gets a stun, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not great, is it, to only get a stun? Are we going to try and surf this... Uh, Oh, we can't. He's got stun for him. Could have tried to surf this blitzer if he'd uh, if he didn't have stun firm. We could have surfed this blitzer. Oh, KO. That's all right, isn't it? That's just as good as a surf. Two big removals for sick. Huge block there, one in nine would have been one in eighty one would have been a disaster. I 
I quite like leaving the uh, Black Hawk out here a little bit. Because, you know, at least it, it takes a, a Black Hawk with him and sits the Blitzer, otherwise, yeah. He's holding it quite well, isn't he? Even though, like, you're kind of exposing a, a somewhat higher value target. Than, like a line that He does a much better job of holding the space. Oh, wow. Dodge to Blitz the dirty player. Instant pile on. No regard for the DP. Nothing. Base the ball with stand firm. Hmm. Not sure I like putting him in contact with him, but I guess oh, he was down anyway, so it didn't really matter. Six getting all the AV breaks on this drive, isn't he? I can three dice this guy. If he doesn't want to foul him, he can three dice him, but he wants to foul him, apparently. Not what I would have done. But who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> now he stands up and thinks, oh look, I could have had three dice. <laughs> Uphilling the ball. Holy moly. I mean, I would have rather uphill him for the surf and then come round and hit the ball with two dice, right? Look, see, the, this thing not as good as uh, Blood Bowl 3 replay function, just quietly. N you know, not not that, not that Blood Bowl 3 is great. This was the play, right? Surely this was the play here. Was to, uh, if you uphill this guy, then he can dodge away. One, two, three. GFI, GFI, 2D the ball. Or... Just go one, two, three, one GFI and one D the ball. But I think double GFIing and two D the ball was the play there. Just try and surf him first. I really like that play actually. Really like going for the surf into two D ball sack. But he tried the uphill ball sack instead, and then dodged to retag. Lost a lot of players at this point, hasn't he? The problem here is. He's lost so many players. Even if he'd done, even if he'd got the surf and ran around and hit the ball, there's so many players for sick to just to just get the ball back. Three players down. That's absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. Mm. Classic stupid troll. I mean, that in that situation, getting a 3D would have been a gross waste of resources. But I think when he had the uh, dirty player just to stand up for a 3D, I think he should have gone for it. So just relying on guard here. It's a bit, a bit dodgy, isn't it? Because this guy can um, this guy can come in one, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI. Not going to. I, I think I would have done. I think I would have just got the guard in and one deed him, just because like you can't stop him by getting in the way at this stage, right? With eight players. You pretty much can't just, you can't defend normally, because you haven't got like two black orcs here <laughs> and another play. Like it's crazy being down three players. So I think you know going for the one D on the balls and stuff. It's probably not going to work out, but I feel like it's got better odds than just getting in the way. I guess obviously the problem there is with it being a league. 
do you really want to expose your tackle Palmer to uh, you know to a dirty player foul for maybe he's a tiny bit better chance of stopping the score probably not worth it moving this guy was more important but I guess if you've got a bribe making the foul is gains value doesn't it yeah, this is the problem now by like doing the safer turn he's just got nothing now has he but I guess at least his uh, tackle pom is safe It went down a few times, Steve, so he was happy that he didn't try and play. He got the, he got the power back on, but then uh, it went off a couple of times. Obviously, he just didn't want to play and uh, risk it going off. So, um, so he'll be playing tomorrow at some point. Huge match. Huge match tomorrow at some point. My game versus uh, that there, Phil. Because if I win, then I'm on 17 and he's 11. And then there's obviously quite a cushion. And if he wins, we're both on 14. And we're equal. So, like, it's it's huge if one beats the other. Absolutely huge. What a draw. It's all right, isn't it? <laughs> the draw's all right for both of us. But it's like football, isn't it? Like six point. It's like a six pointer in football. Like, I'll either be six points ahead or we'll be equal. So, like, it's a huge difference, isn't it? And then, or with a draw, I'll stay three ahead. But I'll be happy with the draw. I think he'll be happy with the draw. A bit like the game versus Elliot, right? We're both happy with the draw. But, like, if one of us wins, it's pretty big. Not that we, could, not that either of us can particularly play for a win, <laughs> you know. Like obviously, elves can go for a win more than, it. but not really because Nurgle can go for a win if you've got no players left. So, but in general, in general, I guess elves have more agency to push for a win. I could play for a loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We both failed, didn't we? Elliot and I both failed at that. We tried to outlose each other. <laughs> well, maybe we both played so. Maybe we both did. Maybe we both succeeded so well at attempting to throw the game, but neither of us were, were bad enough to lose. Yeah, my start was epic, wasn't it? <laughs> my start really. My start really would have had allegations of match fixing from people. It really could have done like it was. It was only one square, and, and honestly, if the edge five didn't get stunned, it wouldn't have even been that bad, would it? But it was. Uh, it was bad that I just didn't even think about the line. I just. I just thought of the dancing, and like you know, my initial. My initial feel was obviously pretty good. And then I just thought, well, the only thing that matters is the dancer. But it wasn't the only thing that mattered, and I was a complete idiot. Like, it was a terrible, terrible mistake. But also, it also was a little bit unlucky to be, uh, to be punished so severely. So that's pretty bad for Tapioca, because he didn't start Bomber on the pitch. He's now taken these two removals, so he's just lost Bomber completely. Whereas Six still has Ugroth. The defense. Right, 
of stone, isn't it? So. But you can foul with a uh, bomber, can't you? you can foul with bomber. Oh, you can't foul that guy though, he's cursed. Foul the DP. Do you GFI with a black orb? No, he's gone for the uh he's gone for the SPPs. It was, a, it was a good game on there, I enjoyed our game a lot. Very fun. Some crazy, some crazy elfings. At various points. So 10 including one goblin for tapioca. And Sick has the full 11. Is he even going to field his chainsaw? Might not. Because he's got to put a guard liner on the line if he wants to field it. Well, now he's got to put. Okay, so he's taken off the guard lineman, but even then, he's got to replace a guard lineman. Is a guard lineman better than a chainsaw? Yes, says Sick as Eggs. Interesting that Sig didn't put on the saw to saw people on his offense, and Tapioca didn't put Bomber to bomb people on his defense, <laughs> and neither stars had any impact in the game whatsoever. <laughs> well, unless there's an early score, but I wouldn't bet on an early score. This is, this is a bit tricky here. I mean, advantage Sig here for sure. Got the player advantage, touchdown advantage. Tapioca Wolf, well, gets it at level. Won't be able to go for the win, probably. So it's just can he grind out the draw? Exciting bash players. Can you grind out the draw? <laughs> Instantly give up on the win. I think I think I did overestimate um, Chavite's chances, honestly, at the start of the season because I thought, you know, I looked at how good it was at beating Els right with like slaughtering us, completely slaughtering us with two tackle pommers and like the street, the, f the four strength five guys, but all with mighty blow and stuff. But versus another bash team, it's still pretty hard for him to like actually win, isn't it, with Kemri? <laughs> like it's actually pretty hard for a Kemri team to win versus another bash team. Because by this TV, the Bash teams have got stuff like um, Strength 4, Blodger and that. Which gives them a bit more of an angle to uh, get the score done. Even though it can be very TV efficient. And then of course Elves can just win anyway, can't they? Even if you've got a team that's that you know should kill Elves, if you don't kill Elves... You're in trouble. But also, I looked. I looked at the stats of the league, and, and Chavide has got like hardly any cars caused at all with his Camry team. So yeah, a Camry team that doesn't cause cars, you can't expect it to do very well. Obviously, going to pawn this black orc. Does he expose himself a bit here? Oh, gets the KO. No pylon required. And does the dodge out. He does the necro blitz. <laughs> the classic necro blitz dodge. Do you foul this with one assist? Probably not. Like, that's a bit... Ooh. 
I mean, the troll is nice, isn't it? It's a lot of TV, but it's a nice player. Strength for already. Cannot stand for. Pretty rubbish when it does nothing. And with those two removals, all of a sudden, six downs player, isn't he? Unbelievable, really. Unbelievable, those just two, two. Oh, he is going for the one assist foul. Will it backfire? Will it be glorious? Uh, very glorious. <laughs> oh, <laughs> squeaky bum time there for tapioca. <laughs> well, yeah, that was unbelievable, wasn't it? Nearly had his best player killed. And uh, a pretty good trade for sick, really. Rerolling, rerolling to get through the middle. No tackle on that hit. That was a very rowdy reroll. Is he going for the win? Surely not. Surely nobody would go for the win in a in a bash mirror. That's just crazy to like. He could be going for it. Oh, no, I think it'd have followed there, wouldn't he? If he was gonna push down. Like he could have, he could have actually like potatoed a little bit, right? Like move forward here and then like uh, follow there and then bring somebody up here and try and zone these guys out. And off. The strength four bludge is a bit of a bit of a hindrance there, isn't he? Hiding in the <laughs> He's a bit of a deterrent to that kind of play. The troll. There's nobody next to the troll. Oh, there's still nobody next to the troll. And he's dub scold. Oof. Is he going to geofight to try and activate the troll? Oh, yeah, he is. Oof. I feel like you should have activated the troll <laughs> before the strength fall guy. <laughs> but, oof, gets instantly powered. can surf here as well, can't he? Doesn't. Could have, doesn't. I would have very much liked the surf. TBH. Gets the full pow. A full pow. Great trade there, isn't it? Two on three over there. Troll isolated. Stand firm, keeping him isolated. A lot of trouble now for C. Maybe the Black Oak should have blitzed just to get the other guy off. Way. Hey. Oh, so the player was to roll a pal and then use him to stand up the troll. Doesn't stun that guy, but still be able to carry on pushing forward, I think. 10 13. Like, the blodges are annoying, right, with a strength 2 carrier. Blockless. Strength 2 blockless carrier. These uh, these dodge blitters are very annoying, but he rolls another pal. And Kazza's him. <laughs> he's a lot less of a pain than he's Kaz. I would, I would have dodged him away as well. Get him in the, uh, get him in the Venga bus, right? You don't really need him in the Venga bus, but it, it's just good because it like protects him, keeps him free to do stuff. Like Sick isn't gonna try and leap into the cage, but he, he might, you know, if he tries to pressure it, it's good having a guard stand for a bit so in there. No, he is going to dodge in. Flip me. Went for the 5+. plus. 
Didn't get it. How many turns are left? Three. Should be alright. Just about alright here, I think. Might be some dice for sick, but should be just about. Should be just about safe now. I mean, don't say it's over. I go, I go high. I can't help but say it. I'm going to do the dance there. Don't say it's over. Don't say it's over. That's the pal. And yeah, this is pretty strong. And a stun. Massive. Four, four, three with dodge, and still doesn't get. The hit. He doesn't. I don't think he has much choice about dodging strength fall through. I guess he could blitz and then dodge it through to save a dodge. Or he could dodge blitz the black orc. Yeah, dodge blitz the black orc. Four plus two D. Oh, three plus, okay. I think it's probably worth it just to go like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then GFI on him. Oh, no, do you stand up? Three, four, five, six, and just stand there. This turn. He can't reach here, so if he stands there, he can't reach him at And he just go. But it's a 4 3 still. Do you score? Not scoring, so it's a 4 3 to 2 do the ball. That's uh, That's not terrible. It's really not terrible for the field, okay. 4-3 is about as good as you can act for the way, the way this half has gone. That's it, Tapio King. Not bad for Sith. 4 3 got to do it. Fails. Gets it, gets it. Gets the pow. Oh, in oh, attack is on. Got to pick it up, I think. I think you've got to pick it up, even if it's a GFI there. I think it's so easy to like clear everything. But you, uh, you go for it there. I think so anyway. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure it's it's so easy to clear. Like he doesn't even need to do all of this, right? He just needs to stand up the. Stand up the goblin and go one, two, three, four, five, six. These are completely irrelevant. Freeing these guys. I guess you can make it three D, can you? No. Here we go. One in nine. the pickup. There is the troll one turn, except I don't think he's got a goblin, does he? And the old tapioca gets the drive done. And I don't think Sick has got a goblin. Tapioca's got two goblins, if you count Bomber. And no troll. <laughs> And Sick has got a troll and no goblins. Interesting. S super interesting. Imagine if Sick had taken the Pogoer instead of the uh, chainsaw. You'd have had a decent shot at this one time. I say decent, small. But Store would take those odds, wouldn't he? Hello, Store.
tell you what, I know fuming is your thing. There was a guy on Fumble who was doing casts of all of the... Uh, oh, God, he got he got an extra right. He got a right. There you go. There's a guy doing a cast of the Fumble Cup games. And he did the cast of my game. And he said he said the GLT was a minor. I was incensed. <laughs> it's pretty cool, isn't it? It is pretty cool. Doing replays and stuff. You get the, getting your... Getting to see your name in lights on YouTube is pretty cool. I enjoyed watching it, even though I'd seen it before. Well, who's to say if he has a clue or not? He's making the videos, isn't he? Which is good. Anybody like making content is good, isn't it? You don't have to be the best players in the world. They also don't need to tell Cyanide to uh, charge normal cost for randoms, but you know. Ooh, hey. He's stood in the wrong square. He's literally stood in the wrong square. He's blocking the uh, he's blocking the hit on the ball. Unless he's just not going to hit the ball. Oh, he can hit with a hit with a black orc. He can hit with a black orc. It's okay. Okay. None of his blitzers have got tackle anyway. I was thinking he had to put in the guards here so he could hit from non-tackle. He just rolls a full pal. No problem. No problem. Full pal. Riot. Strength 4 bludger, no problem, full power. Very difficult for sick now, but there's a chance, isn't there? I think there's only the uh, only this blitzer with, with a chance. Stand firm, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, nine. Gets the pick up, no rerolls though. Fails the handle. <laughs> yeah, paging you know, was pretty special, yeah. Well there you go. Ten AV breaks for Mr for Mr. Page. Ten AV breaks for Tapioca King. Seven AV breaks for Sick as Eggs. But quite a few removals on each team, right? Two kills and two kills from only seven AV breaks. Two kills and two kills from the other. And uh, yeah, there you go. A cheeky little one-one draw. Decent game on it. Pretty, pretty, pretty kind of standard bash game, really. You know, one-one. They both got the drive done. Um, yeah, there you go. That was a match. Congrats to both. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.